Hey guys, I know I'm looking a little crazy, but I'm coming to take down my twist out. Um, I did my twist out with the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. Yeah, that's what I used to do my twist out. But before we get into the twist out, I have a little background story. So I flat ironed my hair on the third, on the 29th. I flat ironed my hair. Um, the products I use, what what I did before that was deep condition. I deep conditioned with the um, Eden Body Works All Natural Deep Conditioner, the Jojoba Mon with Jojoba Monoy, this one, because I saw somebody raving about it, and I didn't, ha I was out of deep conditioner, so I got this one and I used it, and um, I will do a review on all the products that I used, but I'm just telling you what I did. The next video will be a review on all of them and how they work for me, but then this is what I used to deep condition. Uh, of course, I shampooed first, and I used the Eden Body Works All Natural Peppermint Tea Tree Shampoo. Then I deep conditioned, and then I conditioned on top of that with the Tresemme Naturals, this one. After that, I braided up my hair into about nine single braids, chunky braids. Let it dry for a little bit while it was damp. Then I blow dried it with my Revlon 1875 blow dryer. Um, like I did the tension method, you know, holding it and blow, blow drying. And then I braided it up again and went to sleep. And then in the morning, I... Um, no, 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 before I blow dried it, I used the Garnier Fructis, um, what's it called? The Sleek and Shine Flat Iron Perfector. That's what I used and then I blow dried it. And in the morning, I then used this again and then flat ironed my hair. And then sprayed this some more on top of that because it says it reduces frizz. And this is like frizz, frizz jungle up in her. So anyway, that was that. Then I stayed with it straight for about two days. And then again, I washed it. With the Eden shampoo, deep conditioned it with this again, and then conditioned with this, and then I twisted my hair. So what I did to twist my hair was use this. However, before I used this, you know, I washed it, did all that stuff, and then of course I went, um, I did this first. This is my little concoction of pure shea butter uh, whipped with a bit of coconut oil. And I use this on my hair and on my skin. Just whenever I feel like it on my hair, I just pop it on. Um, a little goes a long way. It's very moisturizing, and I love it on my skin. It doesn't. I was. I. I think next time I'm gonna find a little um, essential oil to make it smell nice, like lavender or something, because it just smells like the shea butter, and I like things that smell pretty. So anyway, then I use this to do this twist up. So now we're gonna take it down and see how it came out. How it came out, BTW, I, um, you know I was pregnant, right? I'm gonna do a video on this too. I neglected my hair while I was pregnant and before I did all this flat ironing and washing and deep conditioning, uh, actually after I flat ironed, while I was flat, flat ironing, I trimmed my hair and I think from like two and a half to three inches were cut off because my ends were <sighs> damaged, damaged, damaged. They were so messed. Up. like some of them were at the end some of them were like in the middle of a strand like they were splitting in the middle of a strand I'm like so I had to get off like about two and a half inches to three in some areas to one and a half in some areas but roughly from one and a half to three so yeah that's why my hair is a little short um, but I don't mind it I like it actually and I've had these twists in for about two oh two nights now so it's time to take them down Take them down, take them down, take them down, take them down. I like this Shea um, Moisture. Um, it, it feels moisturized. My hair feels moisturized still from just using it the other day. And that's really all I did was um, use the Shea Butter and Coconut Oil and then um, twist it with the Shea Moisture Curling Hansen. Curl Enhancing Smoothie. Curly Hansing? What, what words are those? But yeah, that's all I did. So... Okay, let me take out a little at the front and then finish off and then come back and, you know, because I don't want to have you guys sit there and watch me take down my whole head. Okay, so it's, I mean, the curls are, I don't know, can you see the curls? Well, the curls are there, but I don't know, I don't feel like, it doesn't have much of a hold. I guess it just enhances cow, enhances, what English am I speaking? En enhances curls it doesn't really hold it's got like a frizzy curl to it which I don't mind I like it you know 
I mean, it's not my first time using this product, but I thought, you know, it might be different because I used it with the Shame Butter this time. So, yeah, I mean, it's pretty, I guess it's too moisturized from the Shea and the, um, and the product itself. Because the curls are there, they are popping, however, they are a little... They're like frizzy curls, and I'm not gonna separate these at all. That's why I made my twists kind of small so that I wouldn't have to um, do extra separating. I guess as days go by, like living with it, like as it gets older, but then right now I'm not gonna separate my twist out because what's the point? You know, it's already kind of separated because of the frizz, but yeah, I'm gonna show you how it looks like now just to see the curls. Um, see, I, I like it. You know, I don't, another thing is, you know how people go crazy with the edge control and all that. I don't like a, a look that's too perfect. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't like a look that's too, you know, it's just perfect, laid and everything. It's, I like more of a natural look. I know my lipstick doesn't say so. However, I do, I do really like a natural look. Like uh, my hair, yes, I like it to be curly, but I don't want the curl to be too stiff. I like it to be fluffy yet you know, fluffy and perfect at the same time, so I don't know. That combination is like a more natural combination than like the curl that's like, you know, what was that? I'm ashamed. But yeah, the curl that's too spirally and the spiral just doesn't go anywhere. It's like, and stays intact. No, I don't like that. I like them to be kind of like this. I expected this to have more hold, um, you know, more of a defined curl, but no. So, we'll see. I'm gonna um, come back and show you the rest of it. And then we'll talk a little more about how I feel, you know. But so far, so good, guys. So far, so good, I like it. And it's not difficult to take down. Mm, we're gonna have some words. See, this one is like, it's already getting super puffy frizzy, kinda. Hmm. I don't know. I think I'm gonna need to find like I'm looking for a product that gives me this result that I'm getting, but is also anti frizz. I guess you can't really get a um, product that's moisturizing and also anti frizz at the same time. I'm gonna have to add an oil. I, I didn't add an oil before twist takedown because I hardly ever do that. I don't care. I'm not that too concerned about the frizz, but on like, right, I, I do care right after I'm taking out my twist out, I mean, I, but then after like a couple of hours, if it gets frizzy, I don't care. I mean, that's what hair does, and it's humid and stuff. But it's, it looks like it's getting frizzy. Do you like? I like. I like it. I do have some reservations. Um, about the immediate frizz factor, but I don't mind it. It's giving me the the fluffy curl look, which I love. This is my favorite. But a few of the locks are a little too frizzy, a little too frizzy to begin with. I mean, as time goes on, like by the end of the day, or in a couple of hours, it's not gonna have much of a curl. It's a good thing I'm not going anywhere today, or am I? I'm not sure yet right now, but yeah, guys. Oh, I left one. Guys, yeah. So I like it. I like the shea. It's very moisturizing, just like the name Shea Moisture. Should be très moisture. Is moisture a French word? I don't know. I'm guessing. I don't remember that word for French. Coming from somebody who studied French for six years, I don't remember what moisture is. So I'm just saying moisture. Sounds right. Sounds about right. Yeah. Uh oh, I just shook the camera. My bad. But yeah, this is what I use. The coconut his hibiscus. Um, coconut and hibiscus. Curl enhancing smoothie. That's what I use for this look, you guys. So um, I'm going to be coming to do a, a hair re um, product review on this one. And I'm also going to do a product review for the kids one. Because I also... Um, am I recording? Yeah, because I also bought the kids one for my son. I was looking for something that's more natural. So I'm going to use this. I was going to use um, uh, just oils. 
but I didn't want to. Hmm. I haven't. Re I think I've used coconut oil once, like after he after I bathed him, and I just rubbed a little bit on his hair. I don't let it touch his skin, although I'm sure it travels down to his scalp. But then I just put it on his hair. I don't put anything on his scalp or on his skin. I just take, you know, just bloop, and then sp spread it around, which is not even enough. Like it looks full, because it probably is. I've only used it like a few times anyway. But yeah, I think I think I'm gonna do a product review on all of these on. Um, all of the products that I mentioned today. I'm excited about this, guys. Thumbs up and subscribe for more hair videos. But I just thought it would be fun to take down my hair in front of the camera and, and see how the Shea Moisture, not the kids one, the Curl Enhancing Smoothie works with my um, Shea Butter concoction. And I feel maybe next time I should eliminate this part and just use this I might have more of a hold with this and less frizz because I feel like I've double moisturized and you know the more moisture our hair gets the more frizzy it becomes it you know just puffs up because it's so hydrated you know so I don't know why I'm breathing in like breathing in is hydration no. <laughs> hydrated <laughs> wow but anyway all right guys All right, you guys, I just wanted to come and show you the, the fuzzy, the fuzziness that I did not pick from the roots or anything. I've spent the whole day inside the house, and if you see what I meant by, it's super moisturizing. My hair has sucked up all the moisture, and it's super fluffy and fuzzy. It looks like I picked my hair at the bottom, see? And then the curls are now only at the end, like it's slowly afroing up. Just wanted to come and show um, how the Shea Moisture lasts um, during the day. I mean, it's not bad. I don't mind it. I like the look. It's not bad at all. I, I look good. I love it. You know, it's just a big head of hair. I just wanted to show how um, it says anti-frizz, but it's super frizzy because I was in the house all day. I did not get outside. Um, it's pretty humid outside because it's been raining, but I have not stepped outside at all today, at all. I did open the door once because Ethan wanted to see outside. I showed him outside and I closed the door, but that's pretty much it. And it's the end of the night. I'm about to go to bed and boom, there it is. Boom. Alright guys, good night. <laughs>